What's up Tiki Team? Welcome to the channel. My name's Spesh, helping you conquer the horde and today we are going over the best way to grind out weapon and regular xp including operator xp and just kind of any xp that you want inside of your game in vanguard zombies now daron fong is still kind of hit or miss for the best and easiest way to grind out your camos as well as your xp but this method is actually kind of broken now as you can see in the game right now we are inside of a harvest objective and we are basically just killing the zombies and not giving the runes to the sin eater basically by doing this you're just going to have an endless wave of zombies coming at you now i'm doing it on a pretty early round with a weapon that i didn't really use before this and you can just see me kind of flying through the different ranks of the weapon already i have a double xp token on and i would highly recommend that if you're doing it but you absolutely fly through the levels by doing this and it's also a really good way to grind out camos now a little bit of a tip that i would give for you to this is to basically make sure that at some point you get a, a pack-a-punch weapon or something of the sort so while you're doing this you can also grind out the camos for the 4,000 pack-a-punch kills that you need to get this weapon gold. One of the hardest parts is going to be getting ammo inside of this strategy. So you're gonna to wanna to get the covenant that gives you, every time you get a headshot, gives you one to two bullets back into your clip. That thing is so OP. Then I would recommend covenant wise pairing that with Deadshot Daiquiri to give you a better shot at killing the zombies quickly and also the covenant that makes it so that the more shots you put into a single zombie is going to kill it faster. Honestly, I'm not sure at this point if it's easier to get XP on early rounds or if you're better off doing it on later rounds, but I can tell you on earlier rounds, the zombie spawns are going to be a lot slower, but you're not going to have to deal with the storm Kriegers and all the other scary zombies. You're just going to have to deal with regular old zombies. So it makes it quite a bit easier, especially early on in the game's life cycle. We don't really have any of the weapons leveled up or any of the best attachments. So I would kind of recommend doing it on an earlier round at first, just so you can kind of level up that weapon, get some attachments, so on and so forth. But eventually, I think doing it at higher rounds is going to benefit you so much more simply because A, you can kill off elites when you're at it, and then B, you're also going to be getting a lot more zombie spawns and a lot more coming at you, so it's just going to be that much faster. Now, of course, you're going to want to be able to upgrade your weapons and such, so you're going to have to go back to the Red Star map at some point so you can get your perks, so on and so forth. But I would recommend staying in there as long as you feel like, and then if you're running low on ammo or something like that, then just go pop your runes in the Sin Eater and you know maybe pick up what's around you and then just eventually head back to red star and use that time to get more ammo first and foremost refill your armor get yourself some perks or pack a punch again if you can again this method is pretty dang good and i would highly recommend doing it inside of your game to level up your weapons even faster i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you soon i want to give a big shout out to all the channel members over on the channel and an extra special shout out to all of the zombie Rigtoff members starting off with hashtag best mod strict archer the quippest man in the southern hemisphere commander underscore whip and the man the myth the legend tis brandon zr